here. Unitas is actually the Latin word for unity. This year is the 62nd consecutive iteration of this exercise. Now, while it takes place in a different location every year, this year we're actually out here in Peru. It's a multinational exercise where we're working together, sharing knowledge, refining TTPs, and doing so in a complex, unfamiliar environment. We had an air element, two UH-1 Yankee helicopters, a ground component, the first LAR out of Camp Pendleton, and then a large logistics combat element, mainly out of Camp Lejeune. All that combat power coming together to demonstrate cooperation, some bilateral training, multinational training with our partners and allies, and refining our own procedures within the U.S. force, the Marine Corps and Navy team, developing our amphibious procedures and working together as a Navy Marine Corps team. In support of UNITAS 21, uh, we provide both uh, fast rope helicasts as well as uh, close air support demonstrations, uh, escort demonstrations, as well as just uh, ship to shore operations from a small to broad scale uh, strategic and tactical level. I think we've made overall uh, lifelong friends here and looking forward to having them come join us in the United States uh, or in other operations down here in South America or really around the globe uh, in the coming years as well. I think to us as a battalion, it's really allowed us to figure out ways that we can move the battalion from place to place and really work through various roadblocks that might come up to get us and our Marines where we need to be to get to the fight. UNITAS has really opened up our opportunities with just the relationships that we've built all the way down from the fire team level up through the company and even battalion and regimental levels. Now that we've been down here in Peru, the opportunity to then actually talk with those host nation countries that have been so gracious to have us down here and likewise with the other partners from South America, it's been phenomenal.